Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. What we got here is a decent size five frame nook that has no queen. And one thing I've always believed in is now you can always buy a queen, sure. But another thing that you can do and is, is what I like to do is as you're going through your colonies, your strong colonies, you're, you're always going to find uh, swarm cells. And um, what I like to do, I don't pinch them off and throw them on the ground. What we do is keep a number of these little small T-frame nukes right here. Now remember the the good quality queen cells already uh, swarm cells already been made, so all you need to do is raise them in these little two framers that that we run a lot. And so right now we got a a returning queen here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put her in a cage, and I'm going to move her down to this five frame nook and replace that one with a, a fresh uh, queen cell. Let it hatch out. Uh, now it doesn't have to, at that point right there, once you remove that queen, if you come across a queen cell that's, that's mostly, it, it's all but, even if it's not closed, even if it's not closed off yet, uh, you can go ahead, you don't shake it, just move the whole frame, move the whole frame over, uh, take out, you can shake the queen, you can shake the bees off one of your frames here and just exchange it with the, the hive that you pulled the, the queen cell from. And then you, you're always going to have queens. I, I like to run a number of different colonies. I like to run the five frame, eight frame, 10 frame, D frame. That, that gives you all, you know, a good combination of everything. You know, you got your honey producers and then you got your, your uh, colonies that you may want to do splits in or uh, raise you some uh, swarm cells, queen cells. It's a simple way, you know, if you don't want to go through the process of, uh, or know how to graft. You know, a lot of people that, that are new beekeepers, you know, it's complex to learn how to start off grafting, but you do this way, the majority, probably 95, if not 98 or 99 percent of beekeepers don't graft. Uh, not saying it's not bad to do, it sure is if you can do it, but not everybody can do it. And this is the way that you can raise your own queens and good quality queens and always have you know when you lose a queen you, you got something to replace it with because this this has got triple the amount of bees as that little two framer does there's a lot of bees in this one in the five frame so we'll put her in a cage put her in there and uh find another queen cell for that one so just a little tip from barnyard yard bees raise your own queens if you if you want uh it's not that hard to do um, but if, if you don't and you got to have queens, you know, it's uh, barnyardbees.com. We have queens there. So you're, uh, give you an option, you know, if you, if you need, if you can't grow your own and you just have no luck with it, well, well, we got the queens too. So that's about it, folks. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.